Hey, it's Tony here, and I've got my good friend Kelly. Um, Kelly and I met, maybe it's been 10 years mm. now, there at Inspiration Church, and she's here living in Tulsa. She is a missionary, and she's on her way to the UK. Yes. Kelly, I want to talk about friendships today. Mm. Um, God was just putting on my heart friendships and how important it is to have godly friendships yeah. and connections. Yeah. And, you know, there's times, especially in the uncertain times that we're in now that we can feel alone, mm -hmm. we can feel isolated. Even if you have family or if you don't have family at home with you that alone and what are some things that maybe from the mission field or that um, you do now that helps you to not feel so alone, Kelly, in these uncertain times? Yeah, there's been so many moments where I have felt alone and you know, living in Australia for almost a year, I went all by myself and, you know, there were times where I just felt so alone and, and by myself and I had to push through moments of really thinking that I was so alone. That's, that's so the enemy's tactic, isn't it? Just to isolate us and make us feel like we have nobody. But in those moments, I really had to push through and reach out to close people like yourself and, and just good friends that I've made over the last few years here in Tulsa. Um, so I really had to push through those, those moments and, and reach out. And it, oh, it just blessed me tremendously as I came on the other side of that conversation, finding out the blessings that I was given, but also was able to give out to the people that I reached out to as well. Right. Mm. Man, I can so relate to that. You know, living here in Tulsa, there's been times where I have also felt a little bit of alone, away from family, away from friends, and um, it's important to pick up the phone and make a phone call. You know, text messages are great, and we live in a mm. society where people text, but I also think that I've been blessed by picking up the phone and calling people, and in return, um, they've blessed me, but I think I also get blessed in that conversation, and yes. it goes to yes. both ways, it and does. you know, it can be a phone call, but also in times of meeting up with a friend, mm. you know, just as we are today, and yep. enjoying each other's company. Yep. What are some scriptures that have helped you through, um, or that you can think of about friendships um, that can be an encouragement to us? So one just in particular that um, I was thinking of today is, oh, I just love, I love the Ecclesiastes verses that two is two are better than one. But also in Ecclesiastes 4.10 it says, if one person falls, the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Um, the message translation says it a little bit better. It says, if one falls down, the other helps. But if there's no if there's no one to help, tough. We need each other. God has put us in this body of Christ for a reason. We are here to encourage you people, each other and, and other people and to lift and build each other up. And man, Tony and I were just going through a couple things earlier this this um, afternoon and, and we thought, I need you. You know, she was helping me do some things and we just need each other and, and we're there to build each other up. We're there if one falls. And if we if we are isolating ourselves, then we don't have anybody. And God put each other in our lives for reasons. And and so it's so important that we just can, you know, look at this and go, if one falls down, the other helps. And if, but if no one's there, then how can we help each other? You know? That's right. Mm. That's so good. I have a vivid mental picture of kind of you fall in a hole or you're down in a in a hole and if nobody's there to help, how are you going to get out of that hole? And I know in uh, Romans 8, it says, you know, the Holy Spirit will get in that hole with you mm. and get you out. Mm. And, and the Holy Spirit's always there, but I yeah. also know He has put friendships yes. and godly people mm. along our path. And I pray for godly friendships and connections that can help me in every season of life, whether it's this season, whether it's the season to come. And um, it's just encouraging knowing you've got people there who you can talk to. Absolutely. People you can talk to, but also people that you can have in your corner that you can pray with, right? Matthew 18 says, where two or more gathered in my name, there I am to answer and give you the things that you're praying for. 
yeah, you can pray for yourself and, and pray for things. For sure God's there. But what an amazing power of the yes. power of prayer of agreement and we're two or more. So just having those godly people in your life that can pray with you. Oh, so much power in that. Yes. Benefits of having people in your life. Prayer partners. Yes. Faith friends, right? Oh, yes. faith friends are so important. They are important. Mm -hmm. Building up our faith. Yeah. yeah. So my prayer and encouragement to you would be, if you are needing a friend, um, you know, ask God to show you mm -hmm. who it may be, that, that faith friend, that prayer connection, somebody that can help you in your time of need, because we can't do life alone. That's we right. need each That's other. Right. That's right. This has been great, Kelly. Yes. Thank you for joining me, and we'll... Um, Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. We'll connect soon. God bless you guys. God bless you. Love you. Bye. Bye. -bye.